But it's always exciting when you get a new a new business in town, right? A new a new small business opening that you can support because you know that's putting food on their table. You know that's their way of making a living. And when it's even better when it's food. So we got a new barbecue joint opening right here in our little small town of Friendsville. Uh, small town barbecue. We're gonna go over there. It's opening day. Go check it out right now. I'm I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Hi. There's a lot of people here, actually. Look at it. It's local yokel. Your favorite. Hey! <laughs> they just ate. Was it good? Oh, it was so good. See? It was good. So we're gonna check we're gonna check this place out. Small town barbecue. Friendsville. A burger. You come to a barbecue place and you get a burger. Okay, Grandpa Tom. Thank you. We got a little side room over here. It's got plenty of seating. Some seating in that initial part over there. Uh, but this is a cool, cool thing, huh? I like it. I, I like, like the feel, the feel, like the character. They kept it simple. Um, all these cool like shelves, I'm, I imagine these were already here and they just kind of added small little things to them, which is, it's always cool to see, so. Hopefully you're gonna talk to James, he's the owner. Uh, he's in the back, obviously super busy, crazy day today. I'm excited for him, it's a, it seems like they've had a good turnout today. You said, right, based off Facebook? It's been, it's been good so far, all the Facebook comments of, uh, what's up for me though? Say we cleaned that up pretty good. We went with the uh, downtown chips, Potato chips with queso, jalapenos, barbecue sauce, and meat, as well as a trio sampler, which is pulled pork, smoked bologna, and pulled chicken. You like it? Uh, I thought it was good. I wanted to get the dirty fries next to it. Dirty fries, queso, fresh jalapenos, choice of meat. Tay got a bacon burger. It's too big for her to finish, she said. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Good food. Uh, Robin and all them said that they liked it. We saw our friend Jordan was here eating. She liked it. It's been good feedback from everybody. I'm excited. I'm excited. We got a good good barbecue spot. Somewhere local to go that yeah. you don't have to drive into town. Yeah, it doesn't oh. It's cool there. So they're known they have a, a a truck. They have a food truck. I haven't seen it in town before, but they do have a food truck, the small town barbecue food food truck. They do catering and then they also do barbecue competitions. Uh, so now this was their next step was to open up a restaurant. And uh, what a, it's perfect fit, I think, for small town Friendsville. Like, it's a perfect fit right here. It's just nice, because if you don't want to cook, we can just run over here, close to the home. And get good food. You're not like, this ain't, this isn't roadhouse. Nope. This ain't a roadhouse steak where you're, bleh. This is, this is good food. James? Matt. Matt. Talk to me on Facebook about oh. videoing. Doing good. This place is awesome. I appreciate it. Yeah. Really this is great. Time. Like we, we came in and we saw Robin and, and our friend Jordan and my whole family was here. It's good food, man. This is awesome. Yeah. Congrats. We done went through 180 pounds of pork today. 180 pounds of pork. Really you guys started with the food truck, right? Yeah, we started four <laughs> years ago with the food truck. Was this always like in, in, in sight? Do you want to have a restaurant or was no, it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we had a restaurant out on the Dragon last season. Last oh, you year. did? Okay. 129 Hub. Okay. Was a, um, we subleased the kitchen oh, nice. inside of it. So when this opportunity arose, yeah. this is our home. Heck yeah, this is cool. So we're excited. This I'm excited. Be. I'm excited to see this grow because I know it's going to grow. Like this is what I kind of always, like Friendsville needed something like this, I think, to kind of so give it a So we're trying. See, it just takes, are. it takes one person to take that risk and get things going. And then, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it, we, we don't know what we're going to get, but. I can tell you right now, the food's good and people like it, and I'm excited to see where you gotta go with this. Well, I appreciate it. Hopefully, did we'll y'all have a long wait time? Yeah. No, no, no. no. I, I mean, feel like people were waiting an hour, but I don't know. <laughs> Any restaurant opening day, you gotta, yeah. you know, there's it's stuff you gotta big. figure out. You gotta, you gotta come with patience and stuff. Everybody's gotta pack their patience and figure it out, and then come back, and it'll be like clockwork in here. I love it. I like what you guys did in here, like all together, like. Kind of kept the character of stuff and looks good. Yeah, cool. that was our goal. Was to, so all of the buildings were yeah. 100 years old, almost, I think it's 85 years old or so. Yeah, it's awesome. So keep with that theme and we're going to open up April. We should open the back up. And that'll be like dining. outdoor, outside dining. Okay, so there is outside dining in the back. Summertime will come around. So we plan on building <coughs> stage 
Maybe cool. on Friday and Saturday have a little have the music band stuff. set up or something. There you go. That'll be awesome. Sweet. So we got a lot of April. We'll have beer here. So oh, you will? Yeah. Oh, nice. We've already been approved. It's just the paperwork and everything. Oh, yeah. Okay, awesome. cool. So they'll have beers on tap in April. Hey, when everyone comes back. Yeah, it'll be, this is going to be a good time in the summer. I've got to be thinking about this, so it'll be fun. Local, keep it, keep it going out here. Just keep it a small town bar. That's it, right? All right, so what do you think? I thought it was good. I thought, I thought that was really good. Especially for opening day, you always are. You got to pack patience, you know, you never know. The wait's going to be long and you just well, got to. people get very frustrated on the when things open and they're not, the service is not the fastest. And it's home cooked food too. You gotta be patient. So this must be this whole back area that they're gonna have um, set up summertime. Pretty cool. That'll be fun to have that area for summer, have outdoor dining, you have a stage and stuff. Kids park is going in just like it, oh, just everything's kind of falling together for friendsville i'm super excited so hopefully it'll give this town a little bit of boost and help out mom and pops which is another fantastic little restaurant with breakfast and lunch here the barber shop and hopefully little pieces will start falling together for them all right wow that was good that was good food um and i love just seeing the community go out and support all of our other friends out there supporting see that's one thing that i talk about a lot right small business and the referrals and the uh i don't know just the overall support of a small business out here just just in that little short time that we were there there were four small businesses there helping support this new small business um and that's kind of that's one of my favorite things about this whole community is just the support and the growth that's here uh everyone looking out for each other and kind of you know scratching each other's back and just promoting the heck out of each other so that was really cool um so yeah it's fun glad we have a new spot uh to eat at i am looking forward to that i it's just such good food sometimes you get smoked stuff and it's just like it just tastes smoky and just gross um i'm not a big fan of it um but when you get somebody that knows what they're doing when it comes to smoke stuff like that oof my goodness so i can't believe that 180 pounds of pork too that's a lot that's good and hopefully it just keeps going up and up for him and uh he enjoys it so that is it for today quick one just wanted to share that new restaurant uh looking for some snow tonight rain's gonna come in it'll switch over to snow around midnight and then uh it might be a lot of snow but it's gonna be wet and uh probably melt pretty quick tomorrow just because uh temps are going back up Next weekend looks kind of sketchy, uh, like a there's like a low of nine degrees on one of the days or something. So hopefully this is like the last big hiccup in cold and we start to warm up uh, because I, are, I am seeing a lot of stuff on um, tornado activity and severe weather picking up towards the end of the month on the long range stuff. Uh, so it's time to get into that kind of uh, period again where severe weather comes into play. And we'll talk more on that too because a lot of questions on tornadoes and that kind of stuff. Uh, but that is it for today from East Tennessee. <sighs> Feel good, full, but got to work out still. <sighs> All right, y'all. See ya.